Haley is, whether she's with me or not, she's with me every day. And like, she has been my main, like, source of drive and motivation. Everyone knows that Eminem loves his daughter Haley. He's been mentioning her in his music since she was a little girl. He has a bit of a reputation for being a wild guy, but that doesn't mean he didn't have strict rules in place at home. You might be surprised how little of his onstage persona translates to his parenting. He and his ex Kim are now good friends and are committed to their children. We'll talk about Haley's life and accomplishments and the life lessons she learned from her famous father along the way. Siblings. Everyone knows that Eminem has a daughter named Haley. He's certainly talked about her plenty in his music. But did you know that Eminem has three children in total? We're sure you've heard of Haley, the biological child of Eminem and his now two-time ex-wife Kim. But Kim had a twin sister named Dawn who struggled to raise her own child, Amanda, due to her issues with addiction. Eminem and Kim ended up adopting the girl who they renamed Elena. Haley also has a younger sister named Whitney who is Kim's daughter from another relationship. Although he's not her biological, father, Eminem also adopted Whitney. He sings about Elena in the song Mockingbird and about Whitney in When I'm Gone and Deja Vu. Eminem is such a softie for his kids. Although Haley is Eminem's only biological child, that makes no difference where his family is concerned. The three girls consider themselves siblings and love to spend time with one another. But if the three girls are considered sisters, why does Haley get the most mentions in Eminem's music? The father could be playing favorites, but we think there's a more generous explanation. In the song, in your head, Eminem claims he never intended to feature Haley so prominently in his music. It seems like he regretted exposing her to the spotlight, so he tried to be more subtle when speaking of her siblings. School. When Haley was born, her father was working in a kitchen earning minimum wage. Despite working over 60 hours a week, Eminem couldn't afford to move his family out of their, let's just say, not so nice neighborhood. Their house was robbed multiple times, and things got worse when Eminem lost his job. Needless to say, times were tight, and Eminem couldn't exactly afford to send his daughter to a fancy private school. So Haley grew up going to public school in the same county her father did when he was young. But while Eminem never graduated high school, Haley did. In fact, she graduated with honors. She was a member of many organizations including the National Honor Society and Student Council. Her father admitted he often struggled to help her with her homework since her level of education far surpassed his own. Still, Haley credited her mother and father with pushing her to do well in school and providing her with love and support. After high school, Eminem encouraged Haley to continue her education, so she enrolled in Michigan State University. She graduated with a major in psychology, but her post-graduation plans may end up being unrelated to her degree. We think Haley is making Eminem proud future. Eminem knows he made the choice to live in the spotlight to a certain extent. Compared to other musical artists, he's practically a recluse, but there's no denying he has a certain amount of notoriety. Although he's expressed regret for involving Haley in his public life, she might not feel the same way now that she's all grown up. Like many college grads, Haley was left wondering what she wanted to do with her life. But unlike most college grads, she started getting inundated with offers without lifting a finger. According to Haley, the second she started posting Posting on Instagram, her DMs were suddenly filled with messages. Resisting the allure of becoming an Instagram influencer isn't easy and Haley admits she's considering it. After all, she clearly knows how to take great photos for her Insta. She loves showing off her makeup skills and might sign up for some lucrative endorsement deals. But she does know one thing she definitely does not want to do and that's get involved in the music industry. Far from being disappointed, Eminem is nothing but supportive and wants Haley to find her own path to happiness. Language. When it comes to Eminem's lyrics, let's just say most of them aren't exactly kid-friendly. He's never been one to shy away from coarse language, but that doesn't mean he wants to hear it at home. He never wanted to curse in front of his children and claims he was pretty good at following his own rule. Of course, this means Haley wasn't allowed to use any sort of rough language when she was growing up either. As a result, Haley never really developed a penchant for swearing. If you've ever listened to Eminem's music, you would probably be surprised to realize how few obscenities are a part of his daily life and the lives of his family members. Even when he travels on tour, things are notoriously mild-mannered among his entourage when it comes to their vocabulary. He considers his music to be an art form, which means he sometimes has to use some colorful language. But he's strictly anti-profanity when it comes to being around his children no matter how old they are. 
Spotlight. When Haley was crowned homecoming queen, her mother Kim escorted her to receive her crown. Although Eminem shied away from the stage, he was watching from a distance. He didn't want his fame to detract from Haley having her moment in the spotlight. Sources also claim Haley was an adept and well liked student who was involved in tons of extracurriculars. So she could feel proud that she won the award based on her own merit and not just because of her famous father. In fact, Eminem has figured out how to keep his fame separate from his home life for the most part. But you probably realized that when we said he doesn't swear around his kids. While Haley has a social media presence, Eminem urges her to use her discretion and think before posting personal details. Support. Whether Haley wants to go back to school and get her graduate degree or decides to become a full-time Instagram influencer, she knows her dad will always have her back. While this outlook helps Eminem be a better father, it comes from a rather sad place. His own father, who he was named after, abandoned him when he was still young. As a teenager, he was desperate for contact with his father and would write him letter after letter. Sadly, they all came back marked return to sender. When he was growing up, Eminem struggled to understand how his father could be so callous towards him. As a parent himself, he really doesn't understand how his father could act that way. He's long past wanting to make contact, but says he truly doesn't understand how his father could be content not knowing him. No matter where life takes Haley, she knows her dad is going to be right there beside her. Feuding. Eminem has admitted that he wishes he had kept quiet about his daughter Haley. If you think he's unhappy with the way he's spoken about his daughter, you can only imagine how livid he gets when someone else mentions her. All the way back in 2002, Eminem was feuding with Ja Rule after he made some unkind comments about Haley and Kim. He hit back with songs like Haley's Revenge, Toy Soldiers, and Greatest. Eminem even wrote a song called Not Alike to condemn those who make comments about his family as a way to get under his skin. Seriously, don't mess with Eminem's family. And Ja Rule is far from the only entertainer to try and make headlines by feuding with Eminem. When Haley was 16 years old, Machine Gun Kelly tweeted that she was hot. Yikes. Needless to say, this didn't go over well with Eminem or pretty much anyone else. MGK would complain years later that the comment seriously hurt his career, and sources claim Haley wasn't happy about his comment or her father's reaction. Although her father stuck up for her, she would have rather he dropped the whole thing. It just goes to show that even if your father is a world-famous entertainer, that doesn't mean he can't still embarrass you. Standards. We're all guilty of losing our tempers from time to time, and Eminem is no exception. But when it comes to looking after his kids, he tries his best to rein it in. Eminem claims he's always done his best to keep his anger in check when dealing with his daughter Haley, and corporal punishment has never been an option in this family. Eminem wants Haley to know that violence is never acceptable and that nobody should ever lay their hands on her out of anger. There's no doubt Eminem has been protective of his daughter, but apparently he's fond of her boyfriend, Evan Mc Clintock. The two have been dating for over three years now, and apparently Evan is a longtime fan of Eminem's music. As long as Evan keeps treating Haley right, he should have no issues with her father. Eminem and Haley's mother, Kim, had a notoriously tempestuous relationship, but this was one way he didn't want Haley following in his footsteps. He wanted Haley to find someone she loves and someone she could have a healthy relationship with. Cooperation. Anyone who's followed Eminem's life story even a little bit knows that he and his ex-wife Kim have had their their share of drama. Okay, they've had way more than their fair share. Leave some drama for the rest of us. These two had been together since they were teenagers and have experienced some extreme difficulties most of us can't even imagine. In the past, Eminem expressed his anger at Kim and his music, including the song 97 Bonnie and Clyde. To make matters worse, he talks about his daughter Haley in the song, who was only a toddler at the time. Eminem said he wrote the song because he was furious with Kim at the time, but many felt it was still totally over the Top. But Eminem has come a long way since he and Kim were constantly making tabloid headlines. It's clear he's trying to have a positive relationship with her for the sake of their children. According to Kim, the two of them are not in a romantic relationship, but they remain best friends. They're dedicated to supporting Haley, Elena, and Whitney, and that means getting along with each other. It's all about balance, people. Social media. Like we mentioned before, Haley has said she is considering becoming an Instagram influencer, but it actually took a long time for her to get a social media account. Because of Haley's lack of online presence, some people have actually masqueraded as her online. Twitter user at Angry Blonde pretended to be Haley and claimed to be in contact with her mother Kim and Chris Brown. The account was frequently posting quotes or words of wisdom, and frankly, whoever was behind it was really dedicated to their scheme. But Eminem stepped up for his real daughter 
Twitter and announced the Twitter account wasn't hers and that she wasn't even on that particular platform. Years later, the same thing would happen again, but a much less positive user was behind the fake profile. At Haley Jade X also claimed to be Eminem's daughter, and they had a problem with one pop star in particular. Whoever was behind the account used it to send mean tweets to pop star Taylor Swift. Once more, Eminem was forced to step in and clarify this was not his daughter's account. Will the real Haley please stand up? What do you think the future has in store for Haley? Do you think she'll make it as an Instagram influencer or is she more suited for the world of academics? Share your predictions with us in the comment section below and then click on the subscribe button for more videos from us here at The Taco. Bye for now!